that which you do not hate, you will eventually tolerate. I was 19 years old. I was in my mom's basement doing haircuts. And my mom was like waiting for me to commit to going to college, to going to barber school, something. And I was like, mom, I got a plan. It's gonna work out for me, just wait. And every day that goes by, she's starting to resent my decisions and I can feel it. The angst and the, and the, the tension in the household. And I'm looking, at, I'm looking like this kid who just doesn't have a plan in life. And I got fed up and tired of it, of people not believing in me. After high school, you have to make a decision on who you're gonna be in this life. And I had no idea, I was lost. And I resented her for not giving me a father or someone who could guide me. So I had to guide myself, you guys. And in these moments right here, ice bath moments, and these moments like going to the gym, strenuous workouts, that's where we find out our true self and where we find out who we really are. And peak physical performance, all the answers come. Someone like me who's always in my head thinking, planning, I was plotting and confused, like who am I gonna be one day in my life? I have no idea who I could become and no one's there to guide me. How I found it was isolation and introspection. And you guys have to know that for someone like me who didn't have a father, I had to become my own father. I had to think and, and forecast into my future, who could I become and then get advice from that man. And the advice I got from him was that what you do not hate, you will eventually tolerate. My favorite quote from Malcolm X, you guys, I woke up one morning and this is what really did it for me. This is when I knew I had to move and, and leave Ohio. And remind you, I'm sleeping in a moldy basement. This, it's like those white walls, but they're not really white anymore because of how many times we had to scrape them down after all the mold would cover the wall. We'd bleach the walls. We would shop back the floors. The place was a mess. There was no walls because every time it flooded, the mold would get on the drywall. So we just took the drywall out and now it's just this big open basement. And that's where I lived, you guys, doing haircuts there, everything. And one morning I woke up and there was a roach crawling on my forehead. I tried to smack it and it jumped off my forehead. I, I jumped up as fast as I could. And at that moment, I just knew like, I'm not gonna live in this basement anymore. I'm done. I'm, I'm going to make a move. I'm going to become someone important. I'm going to give this life all I got. My favorite quote from Seneca, he says, it's not that life is short, it's that we waste a lot of it. And I felt like I was wasting my life. I felt like I knew I was supposed to be out there on a hero's journey, an adventure, a, a call to adventure as every young man must go from a boy to a man through his call to adventure. I knew it was time for me to do so. And that's exactly what I did, you guys. My first rock bottom moment in my life was the roach crawling on my forehead in Ohio. And I believe in you so much. If anybody can do it, it's you. Because I did it without a dad, without financial means, without guidance. I want you to know if you're lost right now and you're seeing this video, there's a reason why you're here. It's because you have a purpose on this earth and everybody should be grateful for whatever challenges. I was so grateful for all the challenges that were bestowed upon me because it's an honor now to share them with you. That's my purpose is to become the man I could be and gift them to the world. The second challenge for me was getting to Los Angeles. When I got there, I had zero clients. Now, mind you, I had built up a clientele in Sacramento and I thought I could stay there, but it was comfort. My true growth and purpose was lying and waiting for me in Los Angeles. So what did I do? I dropped everything for the second time and moved down to Los Angeles from Sacramento. Eight hour trip, no clients followed me. First time I got there, there was no clients in the shop and everybody's looking at me for the answers because they didn't know they could look for their higher self. And guess what? I was the one who did. I'm the plug. I'm, I was the plug for the, for the shop. I had the, the, the motion, if you will. And daily I would get overflow of clients, but it didn't start off that way. It started off me questioning myself. Why did I even come here? And I called my mom and on my lunch break one day and everybody's in the shop pouting and complaining. And she said, Joel, you got to turn your, you got to replace your, your fears with your faith and make your, she said to get back into your affirmations and make your faith louder than your doubts. And I said, Roger that. So I got back into what I know works for me. Everybody knows what works for them. It's the positive thinking, but we lose sight of it when challenge, challenging times come. But that was the test. That was when you were becoming the person. I'm so grateful now looking back on all the challenges that I've faced because you guys, here's a secret. I wouldn't be this individual without those challenges. All of you guys are no different than me. The only difference is I overcame the challenge. So I was making zero dollars, I had zero clients. And then six months later, you guys, I got booked up at 60 a cut. But the, here comes the third challenge in my life. The third rock bottom moment where I almost broke. I was almost done. Every barber, every entrepreneur faced this. It was the pandemic of 2020. They closed the shop down. No barbers can cut hair. You're telling me I can't make any income. What did I do? I did not fold. 
I did not get down. I didn't fall to the pandemic. What I did was I hosted a pop-up shop at my friend's balcony. Made my first thousand dollar day as a barber. And that gave me so much hope. That let me know, okay, there's a way out of this situation. I don't know how long this pandemic is gonna pan out, but I have a solution. And it was a thousand dollar pop-up where I did eight haircuts for like $150. First time in my life I ever charged that much and made that much in one day. And guess what, I did it again. And next thing you know, when they finally did open the shops back up, I was doing so well on my own pop-ups that I decided to stay away from the shop and do my own thing. And you guys, that was when I went from 6K a month in 2020 of March, March of 2020, to 28K in a month, October, 2020. And my business, eight months later after making 6K, scaled up to 28K a month. And how I did it was from overcoming the obstacle that all the other barbers faced by tapping into my higher self. Right now you're going through a challenge, you don't realize that you have all the answers within you. When we look outside, that's when we have a chance to drift, to get misled and misguided, to be run amok. And I promise you, you will never be misguided. I was never misguided every time I followed my own heart and soul. Every time I went through a challenge, I looked within for the answer. And what I need you guys to do is if you're going through a struggle right now, you need a blueprint, a system, a, a, a structured, disciplined routine, because that's the man who will achieve it. It's not the how. I can tell you guys all about how I made viral videos and I will get you your first viral video on Instagram. That's a solution based so you can showcase your skill set and get new clients with the content. It's not just for likes to be the cool guy with the video that gets all the views. This video is to get clients. It's been eight minutes in this ice bath, but because I'm in service, I put my own pain to the side, I do this for you. Not only will we get you the tactics to get you viral on Instagram, get your profile built up, 100K followers and 200,000 200, a year, $200 haircuts, show you all the, the simple tactics, but at the end of the day, it's not how, it's who. The man that you must become to attract the life and the business that you want to attract, that's a different man than who you are now. I'm not the same guy I was when I was going through that $60 haircut struggle that I was going through. I'm not the same guy I was when I was doing the 28K a month struggle I was going through. You realize I'm now a worldwide coach. I moved out the country and retired from barbering. That's a different man. Let's go. Uh. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay, okay. That's a good eight minutes. Eight minutes and 30 seconds. What I need you guys to do right now, if you made it this far, go on Instagram at Joel Thompson Coach. Send me a DM and we'll hop on a phone call. I love you guys.